Hey guys, we have Mark 79 in today and what we're going to do on this thing is pretty much exactly the same stereo setup that we actually have in the BAW Cruiser. So hang around, we're going to pretty much show you what's going into this which is exactly the same as ours bar a bit of sound editing. We'll just show you guys what we've done in the setup. <laughs> Okay, so pretty much the first process is pull door cards off and do the door pods. Uh, we used Department of Interior pods for this one, and six and a half splits in the front, two ways in the rear, and yeah, we got to strip the doors out. We are actually going to be putting some sound deadening in the doors for this one and on the back wall, because we're doing the sub, and so that's just going to help out get a full of sound and sound dead in the vehicle as well, so uh, a lot quieter on the inside of the car. Doors off, door pods on, then we actually got to run wiring in to, into the doors because uh, Toyota doesn't do that, so we've got to do that as well. But um, yeah, that's process number one. Okay, so this isn't Mark's car anymore, but I totally forgot to pretty much run you guys through a couple of things that we had done in his that I've got in mind. Like I said at the start of the video, this is the exact same setup that I've done in Mark's car that we've got in our car. So just before we go any further, I just want to show you a few other things and um, then we'll kind of show you the finished product. So here we are at the back of the car because Reverse camera. So on Marks, we did a reverse camera also. Pretty much same location. Nice and neat little spot. Teeny tiny camera too. Okay, so you've seen kind of what we've done in the back. So let's just talk through it real quick. On the rear here, we've got the ported sub box that suits the 10 inch. You can get the R type, which is what we're running. Uh, you can do a Kenwood. 10 inch as well that does suit this box so it has been made for two different ones if you wanted to go down that road department of interior has done this with us to combine our child restraint system it was my idea just so you know 
So, child restraint system goes in first, one, two, and three. This does need to be engineered, guys, so that does happen uh, when we do it. Then we've got this nice rear board to kind of cover up the back wall because it's ugly and stays basically uncovered. So that's what that's doing. And it actually does have a function though. It holds the top of this box hard up against the back wall as well. And then the box gets secured to the floor. So this gives us opportunity to then mount our amps on the side there. So the big one is running our sub and the power pack is running our speakers. That way, we're getting full 45 watt RMS to our speakers and you're gonna get optimal sound through the speakers, not just running it off the head deck. That way you're getting a nice crystal clear sound. Okay, so now in the front, this again, like I said, exactly the same as Mark's. Um, I just didn't film it before we got to here. So we're running the Kenwood head deck in the front of the vehicle. Best thing about this one is, as you can see, it fits the gap in the Land Cruiser. Good thing about it is that you don't have to put any ears down the side of it like you do with other uh, seven inch head units. We're running the Mob Armor phone holder. So that's what that is. That's what you're looking at right there. It does run Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Um, so it's gonna cover you for any kind of phone that you've got. What we do do, is this fancy little fan dangled thing down here. So that's just a pass through for your USB. Um, our one's got two USBs, but we do run one now with a USB and a HDMI because these things have HDMI in as well. So you can run mirror linking through that. So rather than running the old cigarette lighter, which no one pretty much uses these days, that's what we do there. We just pull that thing out, put this in, and it gives you USB in and HDMI in. Happy days. Okay, so another awesome thing that we did for Mark, like I said, down the back, reverse camera, boom, put it in reverse, happy day, there you go, take it out of reverse, in reverse, cool option, you go and do menu, and you can actually turn the cameras on if you're underway, so if you did have a canopy on the back or something like that, you can actually, we can actually place this camera somewhere where it's actually going to act as a rear view mirror for you, so cool little option there as well. All right, so let's have a listen, hey?